Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science. With Carson! With Carson! Carson's here helping me out today because we're going to make a very special treat. What are we making today? Ice cream! That's right, we're making ice cream. We're going to look at the science of ice cream and have a little fun with it because who doesn't like ice cream? Hmm? Do you like ice cream? Yep! A lot. Well, you'd be with most Americans because Americans eat about 11 pounds of ice cream a year. What? I know. Isn't that insane? Well, and I'm not surprised because ice cream has been popular for a very long time. Matter of fact, icy treats have been popular for more than 2,000 years. Now, there's a lot of debate about where the milky icy concoction that we eat today really started, but that's all right. We don't need to know where it started to enjoy it today. And modern refrigeration makes it really easy to make. But don't worry, you don't need any complicated equipment to do this one today. All we need are a few ingredients that you probably already have on hand or can easily get at the grocery store. So, uh, Carson, should we tell him, what do we need? What do we want to start with? Okay. We're just gonna talk about ingredients. Milk. Milk. So this one's heavy whipping cream. Sugar. Sugar, yep. What else, you remember this one? Mm -hmm. Vanilla. Vanilla. Ice. And ice cream sugar. Not sugar, but... Salt. Salt. Ice cream salt. So we're going to be using rock salt today. That's one of the things that's going to make this ice cream possible. And again, no special equipment needed. Other things that you're going to need, though, um, a couple of measuring spoons. Whoops. A couple, mm -hmm. couple of measuring spoons. Uh, a measuring cup. And then plastic bags. Carson, can you hold those up for everybody? You're going to need a gallon size bag and uh, at least one sandwich size bag. All right, should we get started? Yeah. All right, so let's grab this sandwich bag here. I'm going to just kind of clear the way. Now, for your recipe, you can add flavors later like chocolate sauce or if you want to add strawberries, but we're going to make just a basic <laughs> vanilla ice cream today. Strawberry. Strawberry is your favorite, I know. So I've got the strawberries out here so that we can make some later. But we're going to open up this bag. I know how. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, and then, Carson, you want to help pour the milk too? Yeah, I know the right amount. It is this one, right? Yep, a half cup. So we're going to do a half a cup of milk. And we're going to end up using this bag as basically our bowl. We're going to pour everything into the bag. All right, That's stop there. Yep. It's a little more than half a cup. A good thing this doesn't have to be perfectly exact. So right into the bag. Whoop! Carson, that's all right. At least we had a little extra, so it didn't, didn't go too far. All right, so the next thing we need. Okay. I also keep a, a towel on handy for any spills. So, all right, next thing we need is that heavy whipping cream. We're also going to do a half a cup. Mommy is going to do it because it's heavy. This one, because it's heavy? Yeah, so here we go. I'll pour this one. So half a cup of each. There you go. If you want to use half and half too, you could do just a cup of half and half. Awesome, Carson. Right into the bag. Good job. All right, so now we've got our base here, at least. We've got our milky base. I'm gonna set these aside. And the next thing that we're gonna need is some sugar. So Carson, we're actually gonna put two tablespoons of sugar in here. Now you can adjust this if you want to make it less sweet or more sweet. It's up to your personal taste. There you go, one. Matter of fact, we can do about half the next one. We'll do like one and a half for us. We don't like it nearly as sweet. Perfect. All right, so right in there, we'll set our sugar aside. And the next thing we need is the, a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. We're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla. So, Carson, can you open that bottle for us? Tell you what, you hold the uh, measuring spoon and I'll pour and you can pour it in, okay? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, hold it right over the bag. And now, if you've got real vanilla, that's great. If you've got vanilla extract, that's fine too. It's totally up to you. Now, if you want to add any other flavorings, you could do this at this time. All right, so we've got our base here with our sugar, our vanilla, our milk, our whipping cream. We're gonna zip this up. We're gonna try, Carson, can you gently press on the sides? We're gonna try and squeeze a little bit of the air out here. So, on, on the sides here, yep. There we go. So if you can get most of the air out, we're gonna end up jostling this around quite a bit. So we wanna make sure that it doesn't pop. So we've got most of the air out. And Carson, give that just a little jiggle at the bottom. We're gonna mix that up. Good job. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to take that big gallon size bag that you've got right there. Awesome. And we're gonna take our ice. Now we've got about two cups of ice here in this bowl and we're gonna drop it 
Right yep, right in. We're going to put about half of it in. Awesome. Carson, you want to put the bag of ice cream mix into the bag here? Mm. This one? Yep, right into the big bag with it. All right, now the rest of the ice right on top. That's right. Perfect. All right, now this is already pretty cold. Now, your ice from your freezer is not just 32 degrees. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius, where water freezes into ice and becomes solid. Now, um, it's colder than that. Your freezer is usually, well, it depends on, on your preference. And, and it your takes forever <laughs> to make the ice cream frozen. It, it can, can, but it, it's really cold. It's about, ours is two to, negative two degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really cold. So your ice is actually a lot colder than just that 32 degrees. Yeah. Now here we're gonna use the heat from surrounding area to melt some of that ice. We're gonna take that energy. But the thing is, we're gonna help keep some of that uh, liquid actually liquid by adding the rock salt. So Carson, go ahead and just start dumping some salt in there. No, just pour it right on in the bag. So as some of that ice starts to melt, instead of refreezing, we're actually gonna do what's called some freezing point depression here. We're gonna use the salt to mix with any of that liquid water and help lower the freezing point of the water. So it's not gonna turn back into a solid. Awesome, and the bigger crystals of salt you can make, so NACL, this is technically table salt, but in really big chunk form. If you've got kosher salt, that works too. Um, but this is going to help get us really, really cold temperatures. So here we go. I'm going to zip this up. And now what you want to do is shake it. And I'm going to get another towel, Carson. You can start to shake it, but let me grab a towel here. If you've got gloves, you want to be able to use gloves or just wrap in a tea towel because these temperatures get really, really cold. All right, give it a good shake, Carson. Just keep shaking that bag. Keep shaking it. You got it? All right, so you're gonna shake for about five to 10 minutes. So we're gonna keep shaking our bag and we'll be right- you do it. All right, we're gonna keep shaking our bag here. And we'll be right back. Yeah. I'm gonna need to shake it really fast. Okay. All right, should we check on it and just see if it's any? Mm -hmm. All right, so that was only about a minute. Let's see. We're already getting thicker. All right, let's let's keep going. Okay, my mom needs to zip it up again. Then she's to shake it with a tea towel. Let's check on our ice cream. Let me feel it. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there, right? All right, let's go just a little bit longer. Oh. So cold. Oh god, guys! It's really cold. Okay, I need to be shaped really well. All right, so it's been a few minutes here. Should we uh, check our ice cream? Why don't you take that out? And let's just show everybody too, because we've got all that ice. Whoop, you can set it right on the tea towel if it's wet. All that, that ice, but it's wet. it's all water in there, right? But because we've got that salt in there, it's kept it from refreezing around the ice, but it's super, super cold. All right, and you can already see too that our, our ice cream, it's not liquid anymore, right? It's frozen, this is pretty jelly, but this is a soft consistency. If we were to let our ice cream go uh, a little bit longer, the crystals would get bigger and bigger and the texture would continue to change from this creamy texture into something um, a, a little okay. less smooth. Okay, we got two spoons. Okay, so you're ready for the important part, Carson. Should we give it a taste? Yeah. All right, so let's show everybody too. When you take it out on your spoon, show them what it looks like. That sure looks like ice cream. All right, go ahead, give it a bite. Let's see, is it good? Oh man, mm. you make some good ice cream. Cheers, kiddo. All right, well, we hope you have a chance to have a little fun uh, with this science experiment because it's absolutely delicious. We're gonna enjoy ours. Let us know if you have any questions. And of course, if you're looking for more activities, you wanna this go? Is the best ice cream ever. If you want to do it at home, just ask your mom or your dad for help. That's a great tip, Carson. And for more tips, check out azscience.org. All right, guys, we had a lot of fun with this one today. We hope you enjoy making some ice cream, and we'll see you next time with Sarion Science and Carson. Bye, guys. Is this the best ice cream ever? This one's pretty good, right?